Ironwood, Houghton, and Marquette are set to compete Friday to see who can have more people dressed in plaid. TV6's Michael Sobeck tells us what Plaider Day means to these towns as they celebrate the plaid-themed holiday. <laughs> This Friday is the 13th annual Platter Day, a celebration dedicated to a symbol of the UP. You see it all the time. You see it in the bars, the stores. People are wearing plaid everywhere they go, and it's such an iconic symbol of the Upper Peninsula. And again, especially in the Keweenaw, right? We got to stay warm and wear your plaid. This year, the Keweenaw is aiming to set a world record for the most people wearing plaid and will be meeting for a photo at the Houghton High School football field at 1245 Eastern Friday afternoon. Marquette will be meeting at 530 Eastern Friday evening at the New Founders Landing Piers. Ironwood will be holding a downtown celebration with a photo at 6 Central Friday night. Platter Day doesn't come without its competition. Stormy Cromer CEO Gina Thorson says she respects the Keweenaw for taking on the challenge and might try to beat them next year. We've always had this friendly competition with the folks in Marquette trying to um, to uh, to have that bet. We have talked about trying to do the world record, and so honestly, my, I tip my cap to the Keweenaw trying to do that. I love the friendly competition. Um, and uh, I, I think it's great they're going for a really big number. Despite starting in Lansing, the tradition was created by Uper and owner of the UP Supply Co., Bugsy Sailor. He says the true spirit of Platter Day is the joy of Uper culture. I think it's really fun to see people come out um, something that has has no real agenda other than a little bit of joy and happiness. So it's really about fun, getting people out, uh, meeting new people, um, and in enjoying a, a tiny piece of our Upper Peninsula culture. All three locations plan to have fun games and drinks after their group photo. Michael Sobeck, TV6 News.